House Republicans request documents on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. House Republicans on Friday called on the Biden administration to release information about the chaotic U.S. departure from Afghanistan. In a series of letters sent to senior leadership at the Departments of Defense, State, Homeland Security, and the U.S. Agency for International Development, GOP lawmakers requested all documents, communications and information related to what they called the Biden administration's disastrous military and diplomatic withdrawal from Afghanistan. U.S. servicemen and women lost their lives, Americans were abandoned, taxpayer dollars are unaccounted for, the Taliban gained access to military equipment, progress for Afghan women was derailed, and the entire area is now under hostile Taliban control, wrote Republican Rep. James Comer of Kentucky and other key GOP representatives. The American people deserve answers and the Biden administration's ongoing obstruction of this investigation is unacceptable, added Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee. The White House did not immediately respond to CNBC's request for comment. The U.S. has completed its withdrawal from Kabul airport on August 31, 2021. The withdrawal effectively ended his 20-year conflict that began shortly after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. President Joe Biden has ordered the complete withdrawal of about 3,000 U.S. troops from Afghanistan in April 2021. At the time, he called on all American soldiers to leave the war-torn country by September 11, 2011. He then pushed the deadline back until the end of August. The United States launched the war in Afghanistan in October 2001, a few weeks after September 9, 2001. Eleven attacks. The Taliban then provided sanctuary to al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda planned and carried out devastating terrorist attacks against the World Trade Center and Pentagon. In the final weeks of the planned withdrawal of foreign troops from Afghanistan, the Taliban have achieved shocking success on the battlefield. The Taliban seized Bagram Airfield, a sprawling and one strong U.S. military installation, less than two months after the U.S. commander handed it over to Afghanistan's National Security Defense Forces. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani fled the country as the Taliban approached Kabul in his August 2021. Western countries rushed to evacuate their embassies. The Taliban occupied the Kabul presidential palace on August 15. Nevertheless, the Afghan forces, long backed by the U.S. and her NATO coalition, were dramatically outnumbered. Meanwhile, thousands of Afghans flooded the airport runway, desperate to flee Taliban rule. Biden sent thousands of U.S. troops to Kabul to evacuate U.S. embassy staff and secure the airport. In the final week of the withdrawal, ISIS-K terrorists carried out an attack outside the airport, killing 13 U.S. soldiers and dozens of Afghans. U.S. forces launched a strike to try to deter other attacks. Biden and First Lady Jill Biden traveled to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to personally meet the families of deceased U.S. soldiers before the American flag coffin is gracefully transferred from a C-17 military cargo plane to the vehicle. I saw. This process is done for all U.S. soldiers killed in action. It was the first time Biden had participated in a public transfer since taking office.